it's Huff, I'm back again and this is going to be another haul video. This is actually a Shop Miss A haul. So the main reason I made this Shop Miss A haul is because uh, a couple of years back when I did my last one, it's at least two years, might be longer, um, I had bought a pair of sunglasses from them and you know they've lasted really well, they haven't broken or anything, um, but they're starting to like the cover, like the colour on them was starting to like flake off and stuff. They looked a little hacked and I thought, well, you know, it's time to buy myself a new one. Um, so these are very similar to the original pair I bought. They're actually slightly more rounded. The other ones were not quite so round. But they're purple and they have little diamante type things on them. So they're really cool. I really, really like their sunglasses. Um, I should, probably should have bought more than just one pair, but kind of gives me an excuse to do it again. So, um, in order to make the shipping worthwhile, uh, shipping is about 10 bucks to Australia. Um, and even though everything on Shop Miss 8 is one dollar, it's one dollar American, uh, which is about a dollar forty Australian, dollar thirty five, depends on what PayPal decides to do. So I thought I would buy a whole bunch of stuff and make it worth uh, not only the cost of shipping, but the cost of like the time wait that there actually is. Um, I had actually forgotten what I'd bought. So it was actually a bit of a surprise when it actually showed up. Um, the only thing I was expecting was sunglasses. <laughs> so, um, there is a brand at Shopmish A, which is called um, AOA. So I picked up their Wonder Blender, which clearly is a dupe, supposed to be a dupe, for the Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques, except it's purple. So I haven't tried it out, so I don't know actually what it is like, um, but I will. And the other thing I got from AOA is their Nail Bud, which is um, a knockoff of another brand. It's this device thing that you stick on your fingers like this. And then you can stick a nail polish bottle in it. It's supposed to make it easier for you to paint your nails. So I thought I'd try it out, see what it's like. Things I paint my nails so much. Um, yeah, I got it in black. Super exciting. Um, also, on the vein of nails, they had this little nail wheel. Um, it's not like I don't have lots of this stuff, but you never have too much. Because um, you use them, and I'm the kind of person that, unless they're like a really big nail jam type thing, I uh, rip them off and chuck them in the bin. Um, so this has got basically silver, pink, purple, and pink in it. That is that one. Um, and then I got, whoops, oh, I've got them all in a container, but the things I wanted down the bottom. Oh, there we go. Um, I've been trying to find some powders that will work, and I can tell straight away that these probably are not going to work. Um, so, this is supposed to be from Malibu Glitz. They look kind of cute. Um, this is supposed to be the Smooth Definition Pressed Powder Healthy Natural Skin Tone. This one is apparently in fair. I think not. Um, comes with a ditzy little spongy thing which doesn't fit in the packaging. Wow, that's really useful, Malibu. Um, looks cute. Probably not going to be a good colour. In fact, I'm certain it's not going to be a good colour. Um, and the other one, because I wasn't sure what the colours are going to be like, I got the one that is in light as well. So, 
so uh, I'll open up the other one. This one here is apparently fair, and this one here is apparently light. This is obviously very yellow toned. So it's this. Hmm. Not so sure about that, but maybe I can use like this one in particular. I could probably use that as a bronzer or a contour almost. It might be a bit too um hmm. you probably can't even see it. Um yeah, it's but they're definitely too not my tone. <laughs> and that's what happens when you buy stuff online sometimes. A little bit hit and miss. But also from um, Malibu Glitz, there was this blush, which just looked really pretty. Just looks a little pretty. Uh, this is just called, uh, it's in mauve. This one. be a little patchy but it's it's quite pretty so I'll give it that then you know it's a dollar it's a dollar then I got um, because I was looking for a new lip scrub because I finished uh, the elf one which I wasn't really a huge fan of anyway um, and the new elf ones are not out yet in Australia so this is by Beauty Treats. This is the All Natural Lip Scrub in Strawberry. Okay. It is um, a lot more gentle than it's more like just it's just a sugar scrub. I mean, it says that sugar scrub, but. It's not as uh, gritty and grainy as the um, Elf ones are. Well, the original Elf one. So it's nowhere near as densely packed as that. And smells really nice. <laughs> uh, this one I bought simply because of the flavour that it is supposed to be. This is the Lip Saver. Apparently it's supposed to have UV protection in it. This is in Pineapple. I can't really smell the pineapple. Um, I'm not going to use it though yet because I have other ones, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Apart from the fact that it's kind of cute as well. Um, then, what else have we got? Oh, I bought some brushes. Um, every time I buy Shop Me Say, um, I get myself at least one more concealer brush from e.l.f. because these are $3 in Australia. Um, so about half the price to buy them from America and if you buy all this stuff the shipping is actually worth it so uh, yeah but I also got some brushes from AOA studio um, so I have their E113 which is basically a flat shader brush the E121 which is uh, slightly bigger we can't tell in the packaging. Well, let me dig them out. So the slightly different sizes. So this one is the one one E one one three, and this is the E one two one. So that's, that's them two. Then there is this one, which is the F sixteen, which is like a tiny little shader brush or a concealer brush. It's quite dense. Probably good for using uh, for concealer under the eye or under the brow bone. Um, there's this one here which I think is supposed to be like a nail art brush. It doesn't have a name on it or anything but it's got like a really tiny end on it. It didn't have any packaging. And then we have two pencil type brushes. We have the E112 and the E124. 
these are really good for packing colour into the crease or very precisely or uh, in a corner highlight. They're quite dense. So that is all of those. I think everything else is... Oh, no, there's, a, there's one more. Everything else is lipstick. Um, this is the AOA Wonder Skin Poreless Primer. It's actually clear. Reminds me of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, like the way it looks. I haven't actually tried it. I have no idea. But it looks a lot like it. And that's the thing with a lot of these brands. They just... Basically, they rip off... Um, high-end brands. <laughs> no one said in terms they, they ripped them off. But some of us are like budget challenged. Um, I certainly couldn't afford the Smashbox photo finish primer. Um, if I got a sample of it I wouldn't say no but I ain't buying it. Okay. Lipsticks. There's a few of them here. Um, so, from Clean Colour, a lot of these are mattes, which is what I was looking for. So, this one is from Clean Colour's Madly Matte line, and this one is called Liberty. Um, what you can't see from there. I'm going to need my little bladey thing. Uh, this is a blue lipstick. Feels like it's busted. It is blue. I'm blue. Ba -ba -dee -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -dee. Um, yeah, so Liberty is blue. Not the most pigmented. I think it's actually broken in the container too, which is not helping. Um, it's not super pigmented, but if you just wanted a light blue kind of uh, tint it would probably work. Not having put it on my lips I have no idea what it is actually like. And from the same line we have this one. I'm just cutting packaging up. Uh, this one is called Asai and it is a very dark purple almost black looking in the tube. I don't think it'll be that colour on the skin. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That one's much better. Uh, the pigmentation on that one is better than the other one. It's still not, like, totally opaque. It is a really nice purple. It's really pretty. I like that one. So that's a sigh. And the third one from that particular brand and the same line is Catalina which else green or teal we'll see when I put it on my hand yeah more teal so as you can see I was going for some fun kind of colours so that one is Catalina. Uh, most of the rest of them are in the kind of pinky kind of line. A bit of purple here and there. Some of them I bought just because they look super duper cute. <laughs> okay, so the first one is from Santi. I think that's how they say it. It's actually a brand that um, you can get from uh, Dezo. Um, at least in America. I was watching um, Saf um, and she went to Dezo in America and she got quite a few Santi uh, makeup products. So I'm assuming that you can get it. I didn't actually notice it in the Dezo that I went into in Australia. But this is their long lasting matte lipstick. This is in 23, doesn't have a name. Little, a little bit frosty. Their stuff smells so good. <laughs> it smells like fruit. Um, almost like juicy fruit. So, is it up there? 
So it's a kind of a frosty kind of finish. Um, we'll see if it, which is funny when they say that it's a matte because it's like frosty and frosty and matte don't necessarily go together. But we'll see what happens when it dries down. Um, and the other one I got from their um, liquid lipstick matte line, which can't get the covering off of, of course. This one is number 11. This is a purple. Mm. It might be a bit patchy and probably will need a couple of coats, which is often the case with um, darker liquid lipsticks. But that's the one that's at the top. But it's not frosty like the pink one. So we'll see how both of those dry down. Um, oh, actually, I bought a third one. <laughs> I clearly didn't remember that one. We'll see it in the container. Uh, this one is more pink. Last one. They just really like to make it difficult for you to get into things. Not only have they put a cover on the outside of this one, they've taped it across the lid as well. Uh, this one is number, which had its number on it, uh, 8, um, which is clearly pinker. One of my favourite types of pink. Pop and pink, that one. So we will see how those three matte liquid lipsticks dry down. I'm not expecting the one that's got sparkles in it to look like a matte when it's finished. <laughs> I, um, as I said, there were a few that I bought just because the packaging looked really cute. I'll get to those in a minute. But there's this other one from Santee, which is their matte lipstick, which just comes in a normal um, lipstick tube. Uh, this does not have a name. It is uh, colour number 10. It's kind of like a rose. It's actually packing quite a bit of pigment there. I barely moved that on my hand. It's a little stiff, but I would expect that from a mat. Doesn't smell terrible. I think that one's going to be pretty good. Um, okay. From another one from Santi is this. Um, it's like a. It looks a lot like the Revlon balm stain. Um, but this is their matte crayon. This is in eleven, I believe. It's a very similar color to. Um, a sigh. So that is the Santi matte crayon. This one here. And that above it is a sigh. They're kind of similar colours. The only thing is, I don't think this lid is going to stay on unless I take the rest of the plastic off. Which of course takes the name, number and everything else off of it. Yeah, this is one of those ones where the lid, you wouldn't want to put this in your bag because the lid's just going to come off. Word to the wise. Also from Santi is this other matte lipstick. They have quite a few of these um, different ranges of lipstick. This one is number five. This is more pink in colour. Wow. That's gorgeous. That's <laughs> it right there. This again sort of has a fruity smell to it. 
Um, and the, the container is kind of interesting looking. So it's a big blobby thing on the end, which I'm pretty sure is for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, It's like got nothing in it. You can just pull it off. That's just weird. Um, yeah. So that's that one from Sandy. A lot of the reason I bought so many different, like basically just matte lipsticks from the same people is I'm trying to work out which ones are worth it and which ones are not. Um, the three matte lips, liquid lipsticks down there. Um, Where it's not like really thick, it has already dried down. Yeah, they're not too bad. I'll see how easy they are to take off my hand later. <laughs> well, there's only four left. Um, and these were all bought because of the way they look more than any desire for what was inside them necessarily. So from Beauty Treats, which I've actually seen Beauty Treats on... Um, on sale. So if you're in Australia, occasionally Beauty Treats is actually sold on Ozzo, um, rather than having to get them from Shop Me Sang. And they do have some interesting stuff. So they have this lip balm, and it's called Bunny Balm. <laughs> like literally, there's a little bunny head. It's even got ears. Like how cute is that? <laughs> Uh, this one is in number three, and it's kind of, um, pretty sure it's not going to have any colour on the lips. I'm not actually going to swatch it, but it's, uh, kind of like a pinky purple. Uh, I'm not expecting it to have any colour because it is, oh, hang on, I have to swatch it now that I've said that. Yeah, it's basically completely clear. Um, because it is a lip balm, <coughs> but it's just so cute. <laughs> it's like the cutest thing ever. Uh... Next is one from, who's this one by? Um, Amuse. Uh, I don't think this has got any other name. Break the packaging. Uh, this is lipstick number 12. I don't know that a lot. It's a love heart. Oh, God. It's like your little love heart. Um, yeah, that's why I bought it. It's because it's love heart. It actually hit the top. Can you see that blob? At some point, it actually hit the top. It's actually quite a dark lipstick. Um, it's kind of like a berry colour. It's actually quite matte. It's called Love Lipstick. Um, I don't know if it's meant to be kind of matte, but that is it right there. Kind of a wine, winey berry kind of colour. I actually really like that colour, so that's good. The uh, second to last one is also from Amuse. And this is what the bottle, or the container looks like. It's got kind of like this bow thing here. Um, it's got, I suppose that's supposed to be the colour. And inside is a very... This is, I think it's lipstick number four, but it is pink, very, very pink. Yes, very, very pink. So that is it right there. I really like that colour palette at the moment. So yeah, I just thought that was really cute. But the last one is one that made me laugh the most because um, I don't actually drink alcohol. Um, partly because of the meds I'm on, partly because I just don't like alcohol that much, unless it's scotch. But I saw these ones from Santee, and they look like wine bottles. They're actually a matte liquid lipstick, I believe. Uh, this one is in number six. Yep. even looks like red wine. <laughs> the colour of the container is actually what colour this lipstick is. Oh, let's see it right there. Uh, 
um, yeah, so it is supposed to be matte. It says, I love matte, but it looks like a wine bottle, and it was, like, wine-coloured. It, it, those kind of things amuse me no end. Uh, yeah, so that was my haul from Shop Miss A. If you haven't ever looked there, you probably should. Um, particularly if you're in America, because it's cheaper. But even in Australia, if you make a decent buy, it's well worth it. They don't just have makeup, they have sunglasses like you saw. Um, and they have other accessories type things. Um, yeah, well worth a look. Um, if you're into nail art, they do like lots of nail charms and stuff, which are, I've actually bought from them before. Uh, yeah, so that is my haul from Shop Me Say. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like haul type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.